Okay, so <laughs> more yucky bad news. Um, I just went to my doctor's office. My INR is down to 1.2 since I got my blood drawn Wednesday, which was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, six days ago. And they didn't call me to tell me it was low. And uh, so I'm pretty upset. And when I got the doctor's office asked, the doctor asked the secretary, how come nobody called her? And she said they did and they didn't get a hold of me. And I'm thinking, okay, so they should have called my next of kin or emergency contact or tried me Thursday or tried me Friday. Um, and Monday was a holiday, I think. Was it Memorial Day? No, today's Monday. So anyway, my INR is 1.2. So, my doctor is sending me to CVS to pick up a Lovenox shot. And he's going, I have to bring it back to his office so he can show me how to do it. I'm not going to be able to give myself a shot. I, I'm not going to be able to do it. It's like handing someone an axe and saying, cut off your hand. I just hate shots and I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's just like, okay, blood clots and more mini strokes or a stroke versus giving myself a shot. So I got to do it. I got to do it. I'm going to cry now because it's just so uh, anxiety, horrible. Like, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'll have to make a video and post it because. I'm sure it's going to be redunculous. Um, my other option is maybe I can ask my son's girlfriend to do it. But she's not always going to be there, so I got to figure out how to do it. So anyway, I'm at CVS now. They said it'll be ready in an hour. So I called my doctor's office back and I said, well, I'm not going to be there at least for an hour and a half because it's going to take them an hour to fill it. And they said, that's fine. So that's what I'm doing. I'm picking up the Lovenox injections, driving back to my doctor's, and I'll probably do the shot there and he'll talk me through it so I can do it. I gotta do it twice a day. Oh, and you ready? The antibiotics I was on for the tick bite I just had, uh, Seftin, was probably most likely the reason my INR dropped so much. So, why didn't the doctor prescribing it, my regular physician, catch this and tell me, hey, your INR is going to be low, call your, collar, car, call your cardiologist, see about, you know, raising your warfarin or Coumadin or whatever, or the pharmacy dispensing it to me, saying, hey, this is gonna affect your Coumadin you're on. Nope, nobody said anything. I feel like I need to research everything myself and call the labs myself to get my blood work results. It's like I'm, I, I, I am in charge of my own destiny and you can't count on doctors or nurses or pharmacists to uh, keep track of your health. You got to stay on it yourself. I'm not even being paranoid. It's just, this is what's happening this week. So I, I just got to, I'm just going to have to do my own research on things and keep track of stuff myself to make sure my INR levels are right and to make sure my drugs aren't interacting with each other a sad day but at least I didn't have a stroke right all right if you have any questions for me leave them in the comments below and the next time I'm giving myself a shot I will do it on a YouTube video to uh, explain my process and emotions and all the negativity involved in giving yourself a needle. <laughs> Alright, bye.